Good afternoon, distinguished members of the press. As you must have been aware, the Council of State meeting, which is indeed the first hybrid physical and virtual meeting of the Council of State for the year 2023 has held this afternoon. Fundamentally, the essence of the Council of State meeting is, allow, is to allow for some accommodation of um, opinion, advice, and indeed consultation between the president and indeed the major stakeholders in the polity, inclusive of the former presidents and heads of states, the former CJNs, the governors, among others. And indeed, taking into consideration the major critical issues of interest with particular regard to the election and Naira perhaps redesign, the Council of State meeting was summoned by the President and arising from it, elaborate deliberations and discussions were held among the members of the Council of State. Opinion were expressed, advices given, and indeed consultations made. So we are here this afternoon to keep you abreast as to what has indeed unfolded arising from such consultations. My name is Abu Bakr Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation Minister of Justice, and with me by immediate right is the Governor of Taraba State, who has equally been mandated to be part of the Pali engagement with you for the purpose of uh, keeping you abreast as to the development arising from the consultations arising from the deliberations. So uh, by my immediate left as well, as the governor of Lagos State, the three of us have been indeed mandated to brief you, and we are here to brief you accordingly. The major issues on the agenda that were deliberated was what, first, the state of preparedness for the 2023 general elections, in respect of which the council entertained briefing by the chairman, Independent National Electoral Commission, uh, which indeed was, uh, who indeed made presentations as to their state of preparedness relating to the 2023 election, which is holding in February and March this year. And then the briefing by the chairman, INEC, was followed off with further briefing by the inspector general of police, who collectively, by way of resolution, concluded that they are indeed fully prepared uh, for, as far as the conduct of the 2023 election is concerned, and they have briefed the council accordingly. The second major agenda item that was deliberated often was the update that was entertained on the implementation of the new currency redesign policy, and uh, the governor of Central Bank was invited to make presentation for the consideration, deliberations, and indeed, uh, con consideration as well and deliberation by the council members. So I will first invite the governor of Taraba State, His Excellency Darius, to address you uh, without limitation as to which issues, but, but then certainly within the circumference of these two issues as highlighted. Your Excellency, the governor. Well, my name is Darius Ishaku, Governor of Taraba State. As the Attorney General of the Federation has uh, pointed out rightly what we discussed today, the INEC 
chairman briefed the Council of State on their preparedness for the election on the 25th of this month and that of 11th of next month, that they are fully prepared. And also, the Inspector General of Police briefed the Council that they are equally prepared for the election, and uh, both of them gave us the details of their preparedness. Lastly was the governor of the central bank who briefed us on the monetary change and the monetary issues that has arisen across the whole state in the federation and uh, to give us the policy, the merits of that policy that was implemented. Basically what took more time was that of the monetary issue because of the hardship of money in circulation across the whole state. But generally the views across board is that principally the policy is accepted just like any new policy or any new change, at the beginning people resist it, even though it's good, but generally it's accepted. But the major issue across board from all the states and most of the speakers is that of implementation. And so many views were preferred particularly that the CBN governor should look into making sure that money is available, the new money is available in quantum. And there were suggestions too that if the new money is not in a circulation or printing them could be difficult, the old money that hasn't been changed could be recirculated and pumped into circulation to ease the tension particularly for the poor people in our society who just need a little sum of money to buy their food, buy their drugs for daily basis, and they cannot even afford it. So the pains and the sentiments across the country have been expressed by different governors, my colleagues. And uh, I think collectively, all these ideas, Mr. President was present, uh, is to go and to, uh, to provide solutions and advices to Mr. President. And he was there physically, he was present. So I'm sure that after this meeting, uh, a lot of things will be done, particularly in easing the monetary tension in the society. Thank you. I now invite like um, has been said, we took presentation from um, the chairman of INEC, who assured um, the Council of State um, their complete readiness and their state of readiness to ensure that the two elections of 25th February and 11th March um, they are fully ready. Um, he's given assurances that everything that they require, they have. And even in places where there has been a few disruptions, that they are, they are convinced that um, they can bounce back. And um, specific mention were, were made of one or two places where they said they've recovered and that they've given the country um, assurance that everything that needs to be done to have the election at the set date are on track and they thank both the executive and the legislature for supporting them and that um, Nigerians should be well assured and should be well um, um, mind put at rest that the elections will be held and they are ready you know, to do everything possible 
for us to have an each free election on the 25th and on March the 11th. And similarly as well, the Inspector General of Police, working with them, also gave further assurance that they are also ready, they are, they are, um, they are equipped, and they will give um, the INEC all of the support that they require to make the election worth the while for all Nigerians um, to be able to participate in. I think these are the major things that I also want to further elucidate. Thank you. So by way of uh, conclusion, the two major resolutions that were driven arising from the deliberations of the council are one that we are on course as far as election is concerned, and we are happy with the level of preparation by INEC and the institutions. And then two, relating to the NERA redesign policy, the policy stands, but then the council agreed that there is need for aggressive action on the part of the central bank as it relates to ensuring, sorry, as it relates to the implementation of the policy by way of ensuring adequate provision being made with particular regard to the supply of the Naira in the system. So these are the major resolutions. I don't see any question, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Like it's been said, they were all advisory and notes were taken, right? And um, he, he retired back into his office. And I think with, with all of the advice that has been given, um, the executive, they know what to do. And I think um, um, as we move on, um, the, Mr. President will make you know, um, his thoughts you know, and, and his views on all of that, right? He'll make them known to, to the nation. You see, um, as you rightly know, the matter with particular regard to the redesign of currency is a judicial matter as it is, having been taken to the Supreme Court by some of the governors. And that matter is being considered for determination by the Supreme Court. But then notwithstanding the fact that a matter is in court, it is not out of place for the parties, particularly the parties of interest, to consider and do the needful, if the need arises, which may eventually translate into either the discontinuance of the action or perhaps piling of the terms of settlement or reconsideration. It is all about Nigeria, it is about Nigerians, and the government is for the people and meant for the, uh, to serve the people as well. So the essence of the Council of State meeting today is first to hear, to have a, an informed opinion, to have an informed appraisal of the situation at hand with a view to look at it in the direction that could be beneficial to the system, beneficial to the government. But fundamentally, what the Governor Central Bank did was to present a concise position of things both in terms of merit and demerit for the consideration, within the context of advice, for the consideration of Mr. President and for the understanding of the council members, members in advising the president accordingly. So what I'm saying in essence, uh, the presentation was elaborately made by the governor of the central bank and then with that in mind, the council members prefer opinions that will, at the end of the day, be considered by the, by the president with comprehensive consideration of the judicial issues and then administrative, legislative, and indeed executive issues into consideration. But the fundamental thing is um, adequate presentation was made, which presentation was intended to inform the opinion of the president which is indeed, which will indeed be factored into consideration for the purpose of arriving at a speedy determination of the issues and taking a position that will be beneficial to the nation and the Nigerians as well. Be rest assured that Mr. President's decision will be guided by the interest of the Niger of Nigerians and the welfare of Nigerians at large. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellencies. Thank you, the AGF. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs>